Two new numbers this morning on the arrest of undocumented immigrants under President Trump show more than a 30% surge. This is according to U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement. It also shows the number of those immigrants with no criminal records uh, that are arrested has doubled under this administration. So how does ICE get people out of this country? The answer is with an airline literally called ICE Air, funded by you. Seen as Lela Santiago has the story. These are the deported, the repatriated, or as President Trump calls them. These are bad dudes. We're getting the bad ones out. When Trump says bad hombres. No, my DUI. That's what they got me with. I was never selling drugs. David Padilla is one of 135 Mexican nationals who arrived on this flight from El Paso to Mexico City. It's a scene repeated three times a week, year round. It's called ICE Air, an airline funded by the U.S. government and run by Immigration and Customs Enforcement, a fleet of commercial planes flying deported immigrants out of the United States, each passenger costing U.S. taxpayers an average of $2,000 last year. It's just so hard. They just, they just pull you away. You can't even say bye to anybody. So hard. That's my daughter. Padilla explains he was separated from his two young daughters in early March when immigration officials pulled him over on his way to work and took him into custody. He blames President Trump. If I would have been like pulled over the day that it happened without Trump being in office, I think I would have been able to go home. Others have similar stories. Alonso Diaz was convicted of a DUI in 2008. This man, domestic violence in Colorado, and that's all he would tell us. 21-year-old Eduardo Hernandez is a convicted felon on his record fleeing and eluding. He's happy to see his family. The last time they saw each other was 13 years ago before he crossed the border illegally into the U.S. with his parents. On the ICE air flight back... I know everybody thinks about their family. They're leaving their family, they're leaving their kids, they're leaving everything behind to start a new life. ICE Air is not listed on the arrival screen. Aboard the flight, deportees are provided a meal. They're also handcuffed. Upon arrival, they carry a take-home bag with water, snacks, paperwork, along with some personal belongings. Yeah, terrible, por qué? Then there are those on ICE Air, like Guadalupe Figueroa. ICE confirmed her criminal record consists only of deportations. No somos delincuentes. She tells us she's not a dangerous criminal and can't understand why she's been separated from her two children in the United States. If they don't treat you like a human being. Padilla, who claims ICE cut off his shoelaces, says none of it why is enough to keep him from his family in the United States. What do you tell your kids? That I'll be back. <laughs> Leila Santiago, CNN, Mexico City. That's fascinating. Leila, thank you for that. All right, Silva, come for us. It is.